Welcome to Low Code Lab, my name is Martin. In today's video I am going to talk about the cast function, and all those functions that are needed to be able to use it correctly, let's get it started. First of all, in programming a cast is a conversion from one data type to another, for example an integer to a text or vice versa. Why convert data types? There are a few scenarios, these could be comparisons between data types, database reading and writing, and accessing object properties. There are two types of casting or types of conversion, the implicit and the explicit. Implicit casting is when Appian automatically does the conversion for us. This usually happens when a parameter is defined as a certain type. For example a rule input that expects a date but you pass it a text, Appian will try to do the conversion. And if the format is correct, then what you will get is a date that you can use within your code. Explicit casting is when you use conversion functions, such as to date. Appian offers a list of predefined functions to save us the time of configuring the manual conversion. However, they do not cover absolutely all needs. For example, if you want to convert between two CDTs, there is no to CDT function. In these special cases, we use the cast function, which allows you to convert anything to anything else, or well, something like that. Obviously, we must take certain considerations such as that the original data type must be compatible with the format of the target data type. Compatibility levels. There are three levels of compatibility, full, partial, and none or incompatible. A full compatibility scenario would be to convert a text to a date. The result would be the same information, but with another type of data. A partial compatibility scenario would be to convert the following text, Martin 415, space, Camacho, to an integer, non-numeric characters will be deleted, the result will be 415. And an incompatible scenario could be, convert an integer to a more complex type like a user. How to use the cast function. The function expects two parameters. The first one is the data type to which you want to convert the information, and the other one is the information to be converted. The data type must be a numeric code that Apian has assigned to every data type that exists. For example, integer data type has code 1, decimal has code 2, text has code 3, and so on for all data types, including CDTs. I know this is not intuitive, but Appian provides us with a function to get the data type from an example. With the type of function, you simply pass an example of the data type. It can be a CDT, a primitive data, an array, a dictionary, a document, etc., and it will return the code that is assigned to that data. We can also get the name of the data type using the code of the data type, and at the same time using an example. I'm going to show you with a dictionary, now we're going to perform a bit more complicated casting. We're going to convert a dictionary to a CDT using the type of function. We're going to get the data type from an example of a CDT. We're creating an empty CDT of the school subject type. Now we are passing it a dictionary with the properties that we can see in the CDT. Remember that what Appian is trying to do, is to match the properties that are called exactly the same. And it will place the value to those properties. Click on the test button, and see that it has matched all the properties. Now, it is not necessary to pass all the properties to it, not all of them have to match. For example, I can put the property hello. And as that property is not part of the target data type, Appian will not map it, it will be ignored. Let's try with another small exercise. This time we are going to convert a list of dictionaries to a list of CDTs. Remember that speaking of data types, a singular element is not the same as a list of elements of the same type. Thank you very much for watching this video, if you liked it, give me a like, share it, and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, remember that this is the best time to do so. My name is Martin Camacho, see you in the next one.